Hold up. Why she got to look better than you, though? You said you're attractive best friend. I mean, unless you're attractive, I mean, but too. Like, like, but yeah, saying. like, what, what if like, all of y'all attractive? Yeah, if all of y'all attractive. But now, what if she do look better than you? And like, you what know if she, she look better than you. What if she got, like, you. this humongous booty, and she just is gorgeous? I don't like that you making that face, though. What face I mean? Why you got to make that face, though? Why I'm, you just, I'm just illustrating. Okay. Anyway, it's an illustration. <laughs> it's an illustration. Come on, man. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Una Poca Loca, and today I'm with. Big Coast. Y'all, and today up, we got some good food for y'all. So, today we have a food truck that's very popular in the Hampton Roads area. It's called Got Fish. So I have their crabby fries and some shrimp, some colossal shrimp. He has some colossal shrimp and some, wait, can y'all see that? Colossal shrimp and some hash browns. I mean, hush, hush puppies. puppies, my bad. My bad, y'all. Hush puppies. All right, and we about to start rubbing. All right, y'all, first we want to say big up the Godfish. We're going to review this food. Everything looks good, good, so I'm sure it's good. Yes. All right. We got a couple stories to tell y'all like we always do. They funny, so make sure y'all stay tuned to the end of the video to get the results of that. But first, we're going to go ahead and get into this food. So we're going to go ahead and bless the food now. So bear with us one sec. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless this meal for the nourishment of our bodies. Bless this time of fellowship for our relationship, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so first things first, we're going to review this food real fast. Okay, so let's try to let's try the shrimp first. And I have my little um. This is it. Sort of tastes like a cutie Q sauce, but it's not cutie Q sauce. It's like a um. I like the way those shrimp look. I know. Pretty good, don't it? Looks like a remoulade sort of kind of. All right, let's see. Same same time. It's not bad. This is good. You know what I'm saying? It's good, yeah. yeah it's oh not my bad. god. Alright, y'all. So, mm -hmm. y'all know how we usually always listen to, what is it? Um, work Day Wednesdays? Dirty Work Wednesdays? Is that it? Dirty Work Wednesdays, shout out. Okay. So, this particular phone call um, was to see if her ex-husband was lying to her about taking the kids because her friend had invited her to her bachelorette party in Las Vegas and she wanted to go. It was like her first time. She was like, oh, I'm so excited. Let me check my calendar. So when she goes and checks the calendar, she finds out that that's her week to be with the kids. So she's like, oh, shoot. Let me call my ex-husband and see if he going to watch the kids for me. So she calls him. He like, no, I can't do it. What was it? He had he had work that weekend, right? <laughs> so she calls in the show because she's like, I want to see if he's lying. Come Hold on. Let me show you this. Her first mistake was telling him why. Like, she should have just came up with a good little lie or, like, something else. But you can't tell your ex that's already going to be hating on you that you're going for a bachelorette party in Vegas. Wait, hold on, because I don't know if she told her that. She did. She fair. told him. She told him she had never been, and she was trying to go for the bachelorette party for the same girl that had, was in their wedding or whatever. Right. That was her mistake. If she would have told him it was for something else, he would have did it. Right. So. But he ain't going to go take the kids so you can go get some random in, in Vegas. I'm sorry. He ain't gonna do that. All right, hold on, y'all. I gotta just have to say this. So these are crabby um, French fries. I want to say crabby French fries. Crabby fries. That's what they're called. Okay, and they are so good. They have crab meat, lump crab meat with I guess ricotta. I'm not sure what that is, but yo, this is good. If y'all are from the Hampton Roads, you gotta try this food truck out. It is really good. Um, okay, so let me finish the story. So, 
they're like, all right, so let's, you know, oh, mind you, she tells them that, you know, he likes, he likes to play kickball. So that was his little niche that he used to prank him. So he was like, he calls him up. He's like, yo, he's like, you know, we're having a, um, a Hooters kickball game this weekend. He was like, you know, we want to know if you can participate. He was like, we're going to have the girls on one side, have y'all on the other side, and you're going to play kickball with them. So the guy was like, hell yeah, I want to join, right? So. When he thought it was a bunch of Hooters girls playing right. kickball, he wanted to do it. Right. The funny part is, is that it was set up for the same weekend that he was supposed to be watching, that he was already supposed to be doing one for work. So the gist of the story is he didn't already got caught in the lie because he acted like he couldn't watch the kids. They called him first and it was like, you sure you can't do it? And he was like, I mean, she, she was like, are you sure you can't do it? He was like, yes, I'm it. sure. Right. But then Z104 had her on the same line, put him on three way and was like, hey, we actually are canceling that event. He was like, you can watch your kids now. And then he was like, you guys are, what do you call them? He's like, y'all are immature. Y'all acting childish. He was like, why would you do this? And so the Z104 guy, he's like, no. He was like, you don't want to watch your kids. You'd rather go to a, a kickball game than to watch your own kids. He just made him look like a douchebag. But anyway, we said that. It was a douchebag because he, listen, I'm going to tell you what it is, Joe. I'm, this coming from a man's standpoint. You not. Gonna watch the kids, especially if you know she's going to get some strains. I'm Why not though? Because you're not with her anymore. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Just like it's her weekend to watch the kids anyway, right? So he ain't wrong, but cocktail sauce, y'all. Technically, he ain't wrong. It's her week to watch the kids, but you're not gonna accept watching the kids for her when it ain't your weekend, and you know she's going to get some strains. It's just not gonna happen. I'm telling you now. Just like if he would have called her and be like, yo, I'm going to Vegas with the fellas. I know it ain't my weekend to watch the kids, but can you watch them? She would have been like, hell no. Nah. Not me. I I'm going to let you them. go. <laughs> that's a lie. That's a lie. I know that's a lie. But anyway, I'm just saying, why she feels some type of, I mean, why he feels some type of way? Because, you know, First of all, the he girl knows she's going to be out there thotting, yo, I'm telling you, The girl you, that she's with, I mean, the girl that she was talking about was in his own wedding. But they ain't together no more. I don't think it was that. I think it was like, yo. So he knows she a thot. No, I think. Yes, it, he do. He knows she's going to be. Baby, I think it was that he knew, like, yo, we ain't together no more. I ain't trying to do nothing else for you. Whatever. Don't call me on my week. It's your week. Well, nah, nah. Remember, backtrack. They said that she always switched with him when he needs. Oh yeah, to switch when he her. needs to do. Yeah, yeah. That was the other grimy thing. That's why. Is that he... like every time he has like a kickball game or anytime he has some type of work opportunity to do something, she she she's like, okay, yeah, let's switch. We'll switch. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what it is. Is a dude, yo. You not gonna do it. But that's grimy though. Like you're not gonna do it. Why do you care? You not with her no more. I mean, I wouldn't care, but I'm just know. like most dudes. Excuse me. Most dudes gonna not let you get no strange on they watch where they babysitting. You know, I'm telling you, <laughs> fellas. If y'all agree with that? Put a, leave a comment for me, man. Tell me something. Like you're not, not gonna let them him. get no strange on your watch. I'm sorry. Sh women too. Women gonna be like, I don't know about that. Maybe if it was a an emergency, uh, like had a death in the family or something, I'd do it. But like, not for you to go play around in Vegas. I mean, come on. So anyway, y'all respond and comment to tell me if you have any baby mamas or baby daddies that's like that. And how do you handle them? What do you do? Are you nice to them? Find somebody else to watch the kids. <laughs> That's what you do. You get one of the friends that ain't going, that can't go. Like, hey, girl, got some dollars for you. That's what you do. Yeah, because I ain't going to let you stop me from going to Vegas. Like, you're the only person that can watch the kids. Just because it's my week. As long as I get somebody capable. I'm just saying. Where her mom at? First of all, but why you he, he can't watch the kids, though? It don't matter. He, she asked him. He said, and no. why do he care who she going with? You don't want me no more. Listen, the way you acting. Listen, yo, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. You're not gonna want your ex to get no strange on your watch with the kids. I'm telling you. 
<laughs> I'm telling you, yo, it's not gonna happen. She going to Vegas and you can stuck in with the kids? I mean, come oh. on, dog. No. Yeah. No. She probably shouldn't have told him that it was a bachelorette. And that's problem. why I said she messed up. Definitely. She should have been like, all right, yeah, I got to go to this thing. I would have lied and been like, yo. I really don't want to go. Like, oh, I got a business meeting I got to go to. Can you watch the kids for me this weekend? Wouldn't have been And he would have been fine with it. Yep. Anybody would have been fine. But. All you had to do was offer him $20. and was like, I'll give you $20. You know what I mean? I know it ain't my week. Wait, so how many. I got to do for work. You know what I mean? How many of y'all got worse than baby mamas and worse than baby daddies? Just constantly calling you for that. Leave a comment. Let us know <laughs> what your situation is. Maybe we'll put y'all in the next show, shout y'all out or something. So, yeah, let us know. We're going to leave a link to that show in the description so y'all can check that out for y'all. Y'all, this funny. is really, really, really good. Please, if you're from Hampton Roads area, you have to go check them out. They are really good. And no, we're not sponsored or anything like that. Y'all know we ain't. Cause... Um, although, it's good. I'm not sure that I got enough shrimp in my shrimp boat. I mean, now I will say that, yo, got fish. My shrimp boat Come was on, a little man. light, got fish. I mean. Yeah, I could have hooked this up a little yeah, bit more. Yeah. How many shrimp, did I have? I had like, like six. I had like five, six shrimp. I mean, we can go back. Look, y'all good, but you don't care. Yeah, my shrimp boat was like a shrimp dinghy. Hold up, and. It wasn't no full boat. It wasn't no cruise liner or nothing. It was a, it was a raft. Our daughter had a plate. She had what? She had the seafood trio and hers had five in it. What? And this is the shrimp boat. Why well, can't get ten? Huh? Yeah, they need to up the numbers <laughs> in the boat, man. No, but y'all are really good, though. Y'all yeah, are really good. good, though. Worth good. the price. Worth the price. Whoever came up with the menu is excellent. Next time, I'm going to get the shrimp trio. I mean, the, the trio joint, though. But, yo, this is really good. Because I'd be done eating if it weren't for these hush puppies. Let me tell you, I forgot <laughs> to say that. I tasted his hush puppies on camera. Oh my gosh. You love them? Yeah, I, A hush puppy is a hush puppy. I like the shrimp. No, it feels like I can taste crab in these. Nah, not no? at all. Feels like all bread to me. All, all bread right. to me. All right, y'all. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Please like. Comment, subscribe. Hold up, I thought we had something else we had to tell. Oh, okay. What else we had to tell? I don't know. You wrote it down. We had. What is what is your famous list that? Oh, I didn't bring it with me. Didn't bring the list. All right, yeah, let me ask y'all another question. This is a good question. Would you allow your attractive best friend to stay with you for a week in your house? Well, not even for a week in your house. Just stay with you. At your, like, say she ain't have a place to go. Like with, or you he. And your, with you and your man, though. Yeah, with you and your man. You either married or you just have a boyfriend, fiance, whoever. But it's you and your man, right? And you know she look better than you. Hold up. Why she got to look better than you, though? You say you're attractive best friend. I mean, unless you attractive, I mean, but too, like, like but yeah, saying. like, what, what if like, all of y'all attractive? Yeah, if all y'all But now, what if she do look better than you? And like, you what know if she, she look better than you. What if she got, like, this humongous booty and she just... Is gorgeous. I don't like that you making that face though. What face I made? Why you gotta make that face though? Why I'm just, I'm just illustrating. Okay. illustrating. Anyway, it's an illustration. <laughs> it's an illustration. Come on, man. All right. So, would you allow her to stay in your house? What would you do, baby? If you had an attractive, like, say he looked like what's that dude's name? Um, uh, what's the guy's Michael name? Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Or Jason Momoa. Oh, or Jason and Momoa, friend. and he his friend, and he want to stay in our house. Yeah, I let him stay. I wouldn't. Why wouldn't I? Cause I wouldn't. I'd be like, nope, you can't stay. Just I would. Me. I would let him stay, cause I mean, like, you already know the nigga now. He my friend. It ain't like if he wanted to get something, you wanted to get it to him, he couldn't get it. So, I mean, why would why not let him stay? Think about it. It ain't just because you're in your house. That's the only place you can get it at. I mean, come on. Yeah, but it's way more access. So? No, there's way more access out there in the free world. Because mm -mm. at least around your house, your neighbors know, could see something. You know what I'm saying? So, know something, but, you know, you can set a camera up in your house. Anyway, I wouldn't. 
<laughs> I wouldn't even. I don't even let real pretty girls be my friend. Let me stop. Me. <laughs> She's not lying. <laughs> like yep. Nope. Like, now I'm only joking. Oh, that didn't mean that. I'm only joking. My bad, that part. I'm only joking. <laughs> Uh, yo, before we go, let me shout out the Butterfly Sister Show. My big girls, me and Indy, and my babies. Keep doing y'all thing. Look so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, let me shout out my big girl, Kyra Coles. Daddy love you, baby. Also, y'all, don't forget to check me out. Gospel Engine, SoundCloud, SoundClick. Just Google me. I'll show up somewhere. Yes. Google Norman.Coles or Big Coles 247. Yes. Y'all can catch me on Instagram at una underscore boca underscore loca. Um, I also have a Facebook account too now. You don't. You want know yeah. <laughs> It's una boca loca. Yeah, everybody grandma got a Facebook account. Anyway. <laughs> Y'all hit that notification bell if you want to see every time we post. Um, again, comment. Like, subscribe. That's all you guys Like, do. comment, subscribe. Uh -huh. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh -huh. Do that. All right, y'all. See y'all later. All right, y'all. We out of here. Boop, 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 boop. I knew he was going to do that. I don't know why you do boop, 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 boop. I don't know. I just something to do. What is a boop, 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 boop? It's just to, it's just to go out with energy. Like, shots. Shots fired. You know what I mean? Just okay. to go out with energy. Like, boop, boop, boop. I don't know why I do it. I just started doing it out of the blue. I have no explanation, really. I just <laughs> I just do it for the hell of it, I guess. I don't know. Hey y'all. <laughs> shout out to um Gotfish. Shout out to oh, shout out to Miss Keto Liciousness. Big up, big Instagram. up, big up. Instagram. She also has a um a YouTube channel. Go check her out. Please. It is really nice if you're into keto and stuff like that. We definitely are going to try keto. A keto recipe, right? Also, shout out our homegirls, Alex and Alicia. Yes. Eat. Alex and Alicia eat. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so uh, y'all keep doing y'all thing. Yes. And we're going to do ours, so. Yes, we are. Peace out. We out of here, y'all. <laughs>